Let's look at part five. Hence state inequality stating uh state inequality by P A prime intersect B prime. Okay, so the first thing I would suggest is essentially draw out the diagram because if not you wouldn't know what's going on here. Uh, I'm gonna start with drawing A and B first, which we already did. So A and B is here. So this case here, this is A and this is B. So this this area here is actually 32%, so 0 0.32. And if I want to find A intersect B, okay, let me see. Okay, so now I draw out the C. But A union B is actually, A union B is 0 0.92. So outside here will be 0 0.08, okay. Because A union B is 0 0.92, I just take 1 minus 0 0.92 here. Okay, so outside here is 0 0.08. Just, just take note of that. Then after it, C comes into play. Now C is actually um, independent. So A prime intersect C, A prime intersect C is this crescent here. We are told that this crescent here is actually, um, we found, right? This, this crescent here is actually uh, 0 0.15. Okay, so the question now is what is uh, the inequality satisfy A prime intersect B prime intersect um, A prime A A prime intersect B intersect C will be here, this portion here, this this half a half bit of potato here. Okay. Now so what we're gonna do is actually very simple we're going to move this in and out because now you see the, the relationship between A and C is fixed. B, these two are fixed. This, this is also fixed. So basically this, this is fixed. This is also fixed. Okay. What is moving is between B and C. So this C here, C can actually move all the way in and out of the, the equation here. So that's why um, we, we know uh, that we we could swing in and out. So what I need now is this question value here. This this value here. Okay, I, I need this value here. I'm gonna find this value here. This value would be b intersect a prime. B intersect a prime. <laughs> this one b intersect a prime. Uh, will be point. Oh, b intersect a prime will just be a union b. P A union B minus P A. That will be 0 0.92 minus A, which is actually 0 0.7. So this is actually 0 0.32. 22. Okay. 0 0.22. So this is 0 0.22 here. So we move all the way in. Okay, great. So what we're going to do next is it, it actually just going to move um, A and B here. Then we're going to move C here, okay? Um, so this is 0.22. This, because this is 0.22, meaning this whole crescent here can move all the way in. So this is when C is here. So this, this, is, this is when case 1, this is A and B and C. Uh, case 1 is when um, C, A, a prime intersect C is subset of B. So that case here would be so P A uh, prime intersect B intersect C would just be um, 0.15. Okay, because this whole thing is 0.15. This 0.22 can ac accommodate 0.15. Okay. Case number two is when you think about it, right? What we need is actually uh, A and B. And we need them to be exhaustive. So uh, we need to exhaust every single resources we can. So outside is 0. So here will be 0 0.08. But because outside is 0 0.08, we can, and this, this, this whole crescent here is 0 0.15, 15%. Um, you can only accommodate 0 0.0. You can't move all the way out. You can only contain 0 0.08 here. So this would be 0 0.15 minus 0 0.08. Okay. So this is case 2. When, when A, B, and C are exhaustive. Okay, so this case here, P, A prime would be 0 0.15 minus 0 0.08, which is actually uh, 0 0.07. So the inequality which satisfies P, A prime 
intersect B, intersect C will just be 0 0.07 here and maximally will just be um, 0.15 okay so that's how we do this question here proficiently and now any question or comments at all please let us know keep practicing and i'll see you in the next question